Hello, this is Python Pyro. Today, I'll show you how to create a Telegram bot in Python that will stop migrants from Mexico. I'm kidding. I'll be making a bot that sends random cat pictures when you press a button. Seriously. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications. Thanks, bro. To speed up the process, I'll use code from the previous video as a foundation. Don't count on it. The token has already been changed. Additionally, you'll need to export inline keyboard builder and inline keyboard button for creating inline buttons. In Aogram, the keyboard is a list of rows, where each row is a list containing buttons. I'll create three buttons, forward, backward, and random choice, each with unique callback underscore data, needed for handling button presses. I'll also choose suitable emojis for them. In this video, I'll fully implement only the random choice button. Next, create the keyboard object. Don't forget to wrap it in the keyboard builder type. Create a handler, specifying the start command as a filter. Set the simplest response to check the keyboard. Launch the bot and notice that the buttons are mixed up. We need to fix this. Now it's all good. Now I import the OS module for file system operations and random choice to serve as the cat randomizer prepared with downloaded cat images placed in the cats folder in the bot's root directory. Using the listier method, I'll get a list of files in the cats folder. Then I implement random selection and pass the photo as fs input file type for sending. With answer underscore photo, I set up sending the image and attach the keyboard. Remember to pass the photo as a keyword argument and apply the as underscore markup method to the keyboard builder object, which I forgot. Awesome. The main part is done. Now we need to create an event handler for button presses. I'll write a separate condition for each button request. For the forward and backward buttons, I'll simply print to the console for now. For the randomizer button, I'll write almost the same as for the start command. The bot will edit the already sent message instead of sending a new one. During editing, explicitly specify the media type and pass the new file as a keyword argument. Test the functionality. Everything works great. But I forgot to update the request data when swapping the buttons. Now it's almost perfect. Almost, because I didn't handle exceptions. They can occur in case of a Telegram server error or when trying to edit a message, passing the same photo that already exists in the message. Import these exception types from Aogram. To handle multiple exceptions simultaneously with try accept, combine them in a tuple.
I'll output an error message in Telegram using the response to the request, specifying alert as true. Everything is ready, the final check. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, there's more interesting stuff coming.